What's going on Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a post notification shout out at the end of today's video. So guys, it is currently around 8 o'clock in the morning and as you guys heard in our last video, we're going to be staying at my mom's house, which is currently where I'm at. We're going to be staying here for the next couple days just to finalize some more things we have going on before we make that big trip to Florida. But yeah, Janice is currently in the bathroom right now. She's getting ready for the day, so I have enough time to tell you guys what I have up my sleeve today. So I told Janice last night that we should do like a little bit of a Q&A. Well, not really a Q&A, but that I was going to be asking asking her some like intense questions kind of like put her in the hot seat kind of thing and she started laughing and she was like okay she thinks it'll be fun so on and so forth so that's exactly what she thinks we're going to be doing today in reality one of the questions that i'm going to be asking her is do you think you'll be a good mother now obviously she's going to say yeah i think i'll be a great mother so on and so forth but then that's where my little twist comes in i'm gonna be like you know what i'm gonna give you my honest opinion i think you're gonna be a horrible mother and i'm really just gonna try to drag that as much as i can really try to get under her skin and be like babe i really don't think you'll be a good mother at all i'm sorry and i already know she's gonna feel some type of way about me saying that especially the way i'm gonna be dragging it. And just a disclaimer guys, everything that I will be saying and just the whole prank overall saying that Janice is going to be a bad mother is completely, completely false. I know Janice is going to be an amazing mother. I can't wait to make her a mother one day, but more importantly, I can't wait to make her my wife one day. Then we'll go ahead and make her a mother. But yeah guys, if you guys are ready for today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below Team Isaiah all day, every day. And also comment down below how you think she's going to react to me calling her a horrible mother. Let's get it. What's going on Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a wha for a chance to get a shout out in the next video. That is right guys, so Janice is in the hot seat. This is gonna be a very intense video. Last night I was asking her, babe, I think it'll be fun if I were to ask you some intense questions, you know, really put you in the hot seat. She agreed, she thought it'd be fun. Now we're here. Yeah, and I'm not scared either. There's nothing to be scared about, but I do want your true, genuine answers to of the course. questions I'm going to be asking you. But you know I always keep it real, so... Okay, well, I'm going to need you to keep it really real, all right? Really real, okay? Really real. All right, so without further ado, I'm about to ask you the first question. You all right, ready? let's go. I got 10 questions. There's 10 questions in my mm -hmm. notes. First question. Are you ready to be a wife? Yes. Are you sure? I've been ready. Do you think you can handle that? Yeah, it's not much different. Janice, do you think you can handle have having such a unique, sexy, I, amazing please. husband? <laughs> let's just cut it there. Do you think you're ready? Seriously? Yes. So if I were to propose to you, let's say right now, mm -hmm. you'd be like, yes, I've been waiting for this. Are you trying to tell me something? I'm not telling you anything. You don't know when I'm going to do it. No one knows what I'm going to do. Actually, there's a, there is one person that knows. What? There's one person that knows. Who knows? There's, there's one person that knows. We're not going to talk about that, though. We're not going to talk about it. Wait, what? No, <laughs> no, no. That's it. That's it. So you ready to be a wife? <laughs> yes. Okay, very interesting. Okay, second question. Here we go. How many kids do you want? And be realistic here. How, how many kids do you really want in the future? You already know. I want three, and that's like the max. I really don't want to pass three. Um, I'm completely fine with just two though, but if the third one comes, it comes. I'm the same. I want three. Three? All right, now how yeah. many boys, how many girls? I would prefer two boys and one girl. I don't uh, care. You don't care? Uh-uh. I'd prefer two boys and one girl just because I feel, me personally, from what I see, I feel boys are easier to raise, and then at that point, the sister would have two bodyguards. See, I don't know, because like, all I know is I want all my kids like pretty much back to back, like Agreed. two years max apart. Just because I see how my cousins are and they're all like very close in age and they, I, I, that's what I want in my household. Yeah, you don't want to be like how my mom is now. You know, you guys know my mom is pregnant. <laughs> um, She waited 24 years, so there's gonna be a gap right there. So when my little brother now is gonna be my age, I'm gonna be 50. Oh, that's so scary. That's insane, like to think about. And then I don't me, think about me it. and my little sister, like, I'm my sister's the only one I grew up with in my home, and I pretty much like help raise all my siblings, all my like cousins, because I was the oldest. Like me and my sister, are 12 years apart. You ain't topping 24. Anyway, uh, third question: Do you think you'll be a good mom? Answer it genuinely. Do you think you're gonna be a good mom? Of course. The way that I am with Nene, like, of course I'm. Gonna be Our like dog is not gonna be the same as a kid. How? You just said I think you're great with Nene. That's a dog. Anyone can take care of a dog. Not guy. really. It's a whole different responsibility of taking care of a kid. Yeah, I understand. Do you understand the responsibility of taking Do care of a kid? Do you understand the responsibility? Uh, yes. Like I said, I help raise all I'm of the children in my family. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't think you're you're gonna be a good mother. I really think you're gonna be a horrible mom. Ooh. 
I'm just being honest. I feel like you need a couple more years to really think everything through. Cut and the bullshit. Actually, Cut the bullshit. I'm being dead serious. I think you need a couple more years to like be around kids and actually take. What are in. you talking about? I think you're gonna be a horrible mom. It's How just am I just that gonna be simple. a horrible mom? I don't think right now you're okay to be a mom. I really Why? don't think because I'm scared to be a mom. That doesn't mean I'm gonna be a no. Horrible everyone mom. is scared. No, everyone is gonna be scared to be a parent. I feel like you're never ready to be a parent. It's normal to feel exactly. Scared. I just think you're gonna be a bad mother if you what were to have a kid. Me right makes you think I'm gonna be a bad mother if I would have a kid right now. I don't know. I just don't see you as like mother material right now. Like I don't know. I can see someone else me like oh yeah she'd be a great mom you know but then I look at you and I'm like. I'm not too sure about that one, Chief. Like, I really well, think... Well, a I'm, lot of people tell me I'm going to be a great mom. Like, because... Like, why? Because, why do you listen, think you'll be a great mom? No, let me explain. Because you're making me seem like I'm, like, a horrible, like, caregiver or something like that. Like, I take care of everybody around me. I don't care who you are. Like, if you're in my house, I'm taking care of you. Like, I'm always making sure people are fed. I'm always making sure everybody's okay emotionally, physically. I, I'm always, like, are a you nurturing... Though? I'm very much a nurturing person. Are you, though? I am. I don't think so. Why? Because I don't freaking make you pepper chicken every day? Please. It has nothing to do with it. Why anyway, are you bringing up a dinner plate? Because that's the only thing that I would say that I'm like, I don't do all the time. Like, I don't be feeling like cooking sometimes because, damn, making three meals a day is exhausting. But okay. that's about all it. All right, like, but now, now that you said that, when you have a kid, you're going to have to make three meals a day. How am I going to have to? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Are you not going to serve your kid breakfast, lunch, and dinner? It's different with babies, though. Babies drink milk. Oh, but it's not different with me? This is what I'm saying. Like, I feel like... Are you like drinking milk out of my tit? No, you're not. All I'm saying is I don't think you're going to be a good mother. I really do think right now in so today... So don't give me babies. What the hell? I, today, I'm not going to. Not today. Maybe in another, like, year or two when I feel like you're fit to be a good mom. Because I'm you're, fit to be a good mom no matter what time. To, you're not yes, fit to I be a good mother. As yes, of right I now, am. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Don't tell me what I am or what not I'm not. You're material. not a woman and you don't know you're what I'm going to go through. You're not mother material. You're not mother material. How am I not mother you're material? Not mother mater I'm father material. But you're not mother material. But unfortunately... Okay, but I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you're not father material, irregardless of all of the things that you don't do. Like what? There's a lot of things... I don't have don't... a kid. There's not much Bro, for me to do. Literally, he can't even hold the baby. But let's just not talk about that. Since How you can come I hold the baby? I can hold the baby. I'd be scared to hold it, the baby. No. Anytime somebody in my family has a baby that's new, he's like, literally, oh, no, I don't want to hold it. I'm literally, scared. Literally how a you gonna, How baby? are you going to be a dad without holding a newborn because baby? You're it, a newborn baby. That's different because it's going to be my kid. I don't want to hold someone else's newborn baby. I'm going to feel like I'm going to like hurt it or something like i'm like i don't know newborn babies are really fragile but if it was like my kid i would make sure i would 100 percent make sure i'd like grab my kid with like the most love and comfort and all that all right i just anyway. don't i don't know someone else's kid like let them get a little bigger before i actually like hold them or something listen i've been taking care of people since i was nine years I old i just get nervous i get scared so i know i'm gonna be a good mom because i like i, I so. said like i, I said so. i helped raise every kid in my family like my little cousin she could tell you herself I used to make her bottles when she was a baby, and I was young myself, like Putting a old. bottle in the microwave does not count as making a bottle. Yes, it does, and it's not putting it in a microwave. That shows how much you know what a good father that's what you're you, be. That's what you did. That's what no, you did. You not. put the bottle in the microwave. You, you didn't there? actually mix the formula. Yes, I did. You didn't put the, you know, four ounces or whatever. You didn't do all that. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, and you're sitting here talking about putting it in the microwave, right? That's not how you make a bottle for babies. You have to put you it can in, put in a bottle water. Away. No, you can put a no, bottle you in the can't. microwave. How? I that my mom said she did that with me. Bueno, see how you turned out. Amazing. Mm, I don't know about that. Unique, anyway. sexy. That just see, that just shows like Babe, it's a prank. No. It's a prank. <laughs> you you really got your feelings right now. You're really going off on me right now, babe. It's a prank. It's it's just, it's a joke. I made an intro in the backyard when you were in the bathroom getting ready. I told him that I wanted to get under your skin a little bit and I told him that you were going to make a horrible mother. I told him that all that information is 100% false. I agree with everything you said. You're going to be an amazing mom. I know you will. And yeah, it's just a prank. Chill out. Don't like knock my head off my shoulders. Nah, cuz I'm mad. Okay, well, get over it. No. <laughs> First of all, wait. How what? you th th when you finish making the bottle for the baby, you just give it to them? Babe, I don't know nothing about taking care of a kid. I don't have a kid. Ah, exactly. Uh, all right, but at least I'm admitting it. I don't know anything about taking care as a dad. Temperature I will learn. Milk. I will learn as I go. I feel like that's what every first parent does like with their first kid is that you learn as you go. Mm. That's what happens and it's okay to be scared and all that cuz I'm going to be scared shitless. And yeah. Yeah. But I feel like I'm ready. Well, I shouldn't say I'm ready because you're never ready, but I'm ready. 
Well, guess what? I will be here as a great, amazing, beautiful mother. Go ahead, talk yourself up, babe. Go ahead. <laughs> helping you make bottles, change diapers. You're gonna change the diapers a lot because I'm gonna wrap the dirty diaper around your head. That's oh what yeah, because this I'm... one, this one's gonna try to get out of changing diapers. I already know that's. I'm not. Nah, I'm gonna make sure my baby's bun is like squeaky clean. Mm, okay. You crazy? No rashes over here. Yeah, that you gotta put some desitin. You know. Some who? Some dust? That's a tin. What the hell is that? That's cream for like pamper rash. I can't put just baby powder? Oh my god, you have a lot to learn. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Maybe we'll make a separate video about showing my boyfriend how to become a father in the future. We don't know. If you guys want to see that, let us know. Drop a thumbs up, alright? Uh -huh. And is there anything else you'd like to say? No, just that I know I'm gonna be a good mother, and that's All right, it. And you're gonna be a good mother starting tonight. So if you guys are, right, <laughs> so if you guys like today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Again, comment down below. Did you get her reaction right? And also comment down below, Team Isaiah, all day, every day, because your boys stay dropping the heat, stay dropping the bangers. And you got nothing else to say? No. All right, so now time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out actually goes out to all the mothers out there. Shout out yes. to you guys. I feel like you guys and women in general don't get enough credit for all the stuff that they go through. So shout out to all y'all. And is there anything else? No, that's it. All right, with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.